across the world, there's one thing that has happened completely different. A new industry got into a formation and this industry never existed. This is an industry where you can have computer write the software. And in a period of a decade, maybe 12 years, let's call 2012, the big bang of AI. From there, deep learning allowed us to understand the raw data, more importantly, understand the content inside that, and even more importantly, now we could basically distinguish two different images. We can even translate some of the work we do in languages very accurate. We take the text and transcribe it. And very quickly, we moved into a journey where not only can we understand and classify, we can also generate new content. 12 years. Just about 12 years, maybe a decade. And that's why the iPhone movement is upon us. Now the big question is that if AI can basically create new content, what all can it do? Of course it can do everything that you're talking about, summarization, chat. You can take two different data sets, take a text, bring it to an image. What more can you do? Thoughts? Ideas? Actually, it can do a lot more. Anything that is digitally transcribed and has a structure that it can understand, it can do all that. It can understand your proteins. It can understand molecules. It can understand your brain wave. Think about it. An opportunity for lifetime for us to conquer the grand challenges not only our nation has, but this entire planet has. Applying that. And that is why a new industry has got formed. Can you come this is an opportunity where we all are starting fairly on ground zero and we can build it up together. Now the big question that everybody asks, what really happened? You know, 2012, LXNet meets Kuda Goals on a simple gaming card. The world realizes that everything that we were trying to do for 40, 50 years has transformed. And then we suddenly see the boom in large language models coming pretty much around 2017 when Transformer Architecture got announced. And during this architectural transformation, there was a need for computation to grow six, uh, sorry, double every six months. <coughs> Think about it. You're talking about a large language model requiring computation requirement double every six months. The only way computing was done was doubling every two years. Now you're talking about doubling every six months. So not only was the large language model important, but computing was extremely important. And let me just do quick maths. I'm told that most of you are very good with mathematics. I'm not very good at it, but let's try and do this. The current OpenAI model is supposed to be 1.8 trillion parameters. Now all of you know, the bigger the large language model, the better, the smarter, the more accurate it is. But it also requires enormous amount of speed, what you all call as tokens. So it requires approximately between 30 to 50 billion quadrillion parameters, sorry, tokens, right? So let's say 30 billion. Let's assume what Mohan calls a GPU can do one petaflop of performance. Also assume that there are 15 zeros after the 30 billion that we just put is an enormous number. If you had to do compute on a single GPU, it will take you 30 billion seconds. Second doesn't sound too big, but 1,000 years definitely sounds big. So that's the period that a large language model will take to be trained if we left it to a single GPU. The question is, what do we do? 
So what should we do? Should we just take the model and make, sorry, we take the GPU and make it bigger? And that's what everybody wants, a bigger GPU. And we have innovated a lot on GPU to make it bigger by making it virtual. We've taken multiple GPUs, which by the way have multiple cores inside them, and connected them with innovative technologies on the network, what we call as NB-Link, so that they can communicate quickly and faster. We've taken multiple nodes and connected them on infinity band so that they can do faster. And Mohan, you did refer that the whole networking was aligned because that's how you made a very large GPU. It's virtually gigantic. It's huge. And then you do what is required on a specialized processor is to build certain engines. There's an engine called Transformer Engine after the paper was announced that was available on the GPUs that allowed Chad GPT to do what it did in November of 2022. And if you look at each of the Chad GPDs, if you look at each Chad GPD between version 3 to 4, or even three and a half to four, you're talking about 10x the kind of compute need that is required, 10x. How are we going to get this? And for this very reason, I want to remind you, and some of you probably paid attention on March 18, what was announced. What was really announced was a large GPU, which was inspired by a mathematician, a game theorist, called David Blackwell. And for the very first time, two GPUs were put on a single die, seamlessly in such a way that neither of them knows who's connected to whom. And over 10 terabytes of performance is what links them together. And the gigantic GPU is what is what announced, and this is what as a combination of what I just spoke is going to be available over a period of time to help you to do this gigantic work so that we can be solving these very grand challenges, be it in climate, be it in weather, be it in understanding and producing lighter -like materials and so many other problems that we have in healthcare, etc., etc., is how we're going to be solving multiple of these problems. Now the big question is that, look, compute is great, we got large language models, we all understand the benefit of open source, we'll pick up these models, we will stack them up, I, I know, I know, you guys will do it, absolutely you will do it, but how will I make it work inside an organization? Organization has workflows, they have need for integrity, they have security as a requirement, of course I understand they'll all employ you. But each of you will very quickly then say, hey, the grass is greener on the other side, I want to go there. So how do I make the organization work? How do I make sure that the workflows of an organization are also meeting the same opportunity as the open source needs? And for this very reason, on March 18, we introduced to the world NVIDIA inference models. What we do for you is that the entire stack that you create, we put it into a digital container, we secure it, we take the responsibility to ensure that any changes that happen to the stack are maintained by us and we allow you to use it in any formation so that your organization, your enterprises, even your work can benefit out of this whole thing. So I spoke about GPUs, I spoke about inference models, I also spoke about the training needs, and this is the work that NVIDIA is doing, this is the work that we are doing together with Oracle, and Oracle is absolutely a very special partner, and like Mohan stated, grounds up we have developed an accelerated compute infrastructure, that accelerated compute infrastructure has best of the GPUs, the best of the CPUs, 
and more importantly, their entire integrated platform, coupled with all the security requirements, along with the NVIDIA's technology, is available to you so that you can have an environment which can be localized here in a region, it can be localized at a company level, and more importantly, it can be also available to you globally. So with that availability, it really changes the spectrum of the infrastructure. And once the infrastructures are in play, and you and I know that very well, when the infrastructure is in play, a lot of innovation takes place. More importantly, we find solutions to the real problems of our life. And like they say, we remain more effective and efficient. There are two